I'm Gail Thurston and I had a kyphoplasty done on my L1 vertebrae. My name is Mickey Klein and I had a spinal stimulator. January of 2011, I took a fall and that triggered the real severe pain. It wouldn't go away. I had the cortisone, I had the physical therapy, I had everything you know you could ever imagine them doing um, different medications uh, and I was on so much medication I, I, I wasn't safe to drive. I'm a pretty active person and um, used to doing pretty much anything I feel like doing and um, I retired in uh, April of 2010 and one of the fun things about being retired is that I could walk my dog every morning. She's a half German Shepherd and a half Husky and a big powerful dog very well trained but um, definitely a big dog. We went out of the house on the morning of February 24th. Uh, I realized it was a little bit cool. I needed to go back and get a jacket. I forgot to tell her that that's what I was doing and she takes off down the sidewalk at her normal four mile an hour speed which is a brisk walk. I was turned around heading back for the house. The leash went up over my shoulder and pulling as strong as she does capable of pulling a sled, she pulled me over backwards. The timing was truly awful because I just retired in April of last year. I'm 62 but feel 40. I've got a younger husband. I still have two college students living at home. We have a dog. I mean, and I like to live actively. You know, I, I play tennis. I ride horses. I train dogs. Uh, I sew. I do a lot of charity work for the Plano Quilting Guild. And I couldn't do any of that. I could stand still. I could sit still if I leaned back and I could um, lay down flat. But anything that involved getting up, turning, lifting anything heavier than a hairbrush was impossible without pain. I've got my life back. I can, I mean, I, I'm, not in, I'm not in constant pain. Um, I can go out, I can, with my grandchildren without being crazy that I was hurting and grandma needs to lay down and take some medicine. Um, I can, I have my life back. I can walk my dog. <laughs> I rode horses a couple weeks ago. I can um, do all the things that I did before. I'm going to California on vacation next week to visit my sister and I'm planning to go surfing and I'm going to go skiing up at Big Bear. So I could never have done any of that if I hadn't had the surgery. Everybody at his office is um, professional, intelligent, highly trained, educated, polite. Um, they don't push you. They don't bossily hand you a thing and say, fill this out. They go, if you have time while you're waiting, would you mind filling this out? It's not what you say, it's the way you say it that makes such a difference to, to people. Especially when somebody's hurting. Uh, this patient that was going in to see him before me was on a walker and the nurse actually got up to help her with her walker to open the door for her. I've never seen a nurse do that in a doctor's office in my life. This was a miracle and Dr. Salinas was, he was, you know, he explained it and we talked about it and he was, you know, my follow-ups and everything else. And you're doing great and smiling and asked me if I had any questions and the whole staff was, you know, very caring.